Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. So we did this video on Hearts Ohm uh, mid-afternoon. It came out, tools of the energy work trade and what to expect with energy work. And if you missed it yesterday, we did Galactic Federation message. Welcome to the Bronze Age. So now what? Oh, that's a big question. So now what? As always, guys, too. Thank you for your support over on Patreon. Couldn't do it without you guys over there. And uh, there's a lot going on. Let's just listen to this. This is the U.S. spokesperson, Miller. Just listen. They're embedded near civilians. Israel has a right to try and target those civilians, but they also have the obligation to minimize civilian harm and take every step possible to minimize civilian harm. So that's civilians, but they also have the obligation to minimize the target of those civilians, but they also target those civilians, but they also target those civilians, but they also have the... Yeah, uh, I don't think that should ever be the case when civilians are targeted in war. We do all know that happens, but I don't know. It's just, I'm looking at him, and to me, he looks very, very Draco. Yeah, I mean, this is just the, the statements that are made are just so very wrong. Yeah, you know, it's all being exposed and it's they're not going to hide anything anymore. And we're going to know for sure, you know, for those that don't know exactly what's really going on on planet Earth. And so this was a massive explosion and this is in Armenia. And from this distance, you can't see it so good. But um, man, oh man, it's like a mushroom cloud. That is one huge explosion. Gas pipeline station, they say, in the city of Abavyan. Now, there has been a history of conflict with Azerbaijan. And, of course, you know, this is not far from both, as you can see right here, Turkey, Iran, and also Russia to the north. You have Georgia right here and Azerbaijan. It just feels like, um, man, it, it feels like everything is about to go boom all of a sudden. Yeah, it doesn't look too good. No, and, you know, today was a very productive day out in the yard. Got a lot done, still more to do. And meanwhile, Russia, as we were saying earlier today, they're deploying nuclear submarines to Cuba, also other military assets to Cuba. Um, there are sources saying that already military uh, Navy ships have already arrived, and at least one nuclear sub has arrived basically 150 miles uh, away from the U.S. Uh, this, this really feels like everything is, is getting ready again to really kick off big time. Please do send out your prayers and positive intentions that we can again shift the timeline. You have Germany updating wartime measures following threats by Putin. Germany has updated its wartime measures for the first time since the Cold War, preparing for potential conflict with Russia. And so the new plan includes compulsory conscription reinstated. In other words, the draft. You know, this, this is where they're heading. And when the draft hits, and I think the draft's going to hit all of us, pretty much, all the NATO countries, um, as well as you know the, many of the BRICS countries. That, I think, is the death knell for the power structure, and they know it, because you're going to have, you're just going to have such a uprising everywhere that this is when countries will be toppled. Yeah, it's, it's not looking good, guys. And other things as well. Emergency food reserves. 
makeshift bunkers, prepared hospitals, subway stations to be used as bunkers, hospitals ready for sudden influx of patients, uh, job bans in key sectors, prohibitions on quitting jobs critical to defense. I quit. No, you don't. Mm. Click, click. Yeah, meaning gun barrel. Absolutely, martial law time is unfortunately coming closer. NATO troop movements facilitating the rapid movement of NATO troops through Germany to the Eastern Front. Eastern Front. Here we go again. Civilian roles for healthcare professionals, doctors, psychologists, nurses, and vets repurposed for military and civil service. Priority repairs for military equipment, quick repair and maintenance of military gear, increased defense budget commitments to NATO, and on the on and on. And we know this war does not have to happen. It's just happening because they're going to lose power, and they know it. So they're going to do the only thing they know how to do, and that's cause more chaos, death, and destruction. And they they do good at it too. Russia is going to deliver the same type of weapons to conflict zones to strike Western assets of those countries that deliver weapons to Ukraine. So, in other words, you know, when you would see reprisals from, say, Hamas or Hezbollah or Yemen, you might, Yemen, you might see very, very sophisticated weapons where you have not seen, you know, that level of sophistication yet. And meanwhile, we do have chaos. This is in Dublin, Ireland. As you see a petrol bomb going off, you have all the migrants in place. You have the sleeper cells in place. It's kind of hard to control some of these uh, with itchy fingers, itchy trigger fingers. And then we have what feels like MK Ultra going on. 39-year-old man starts shooting at random cars, San Jacinto, California, killing a father of four. Julio Rodarte was arrested on suspicion of murder and 10 counts of attempted murder after he fired 30 rounds and then took his clothing off. The despicable act was triggered after he reportedly tried buying a shot of liquor at a nearby market but didn't have enough money. He then left and started firing at cars before taking his clothes off. Multiple cars were damaged. One man was injured. 42-year-old Victor Hugo Leon was killed. He was just on his way home after a night shift at work. Uh, yeah, Nanu, Nanu. And, and then you have the signals going out. All those towers, they were in such a rush to get up into, you know, into position. Then you get the plague on the land. Now you got just abject chaos. CDC says bird flu has caused respiratory symptoms for the first time. CDC says bird flu has caused respiratory symptoms for th one of three infected dairy workers. I'd like to see their... Ouch, what was that? Yeah. Status. Yeah, you know, again, build your immune system. The record for the health industry is abjectly poor at best. When you look at life expectancy dropping off a cliff, you look at everything that's been going on, uh, sperm counts down, fertility rates down, uh, miscarriages up, you actually have crisis situation in multiple countries because we're not replacing the population. We're, we're having too much death, not enough birth. And here they were telling us, you know, it's going to be an overpopulated world. You're going to hit 10 million people by 2050. And no, no, it's going in the other direction very, very fast, like the Denisovans and the Neanderthals. With such a lousy record, shouldn't we just fire th everybody that is working for the CDC and abolish it? Same thing with WHO. Uh, the UN's not doing much good, you know, instilling peace in the world. Shouldn't they be disbanded? I mean, shouldn't abject poor performance have a consequence? 
I know. I mean, you really, really have to focus on the track record at this point and do do whatever is best for you. But, you know, look around and see what's working and what's not. And, and from what I see, I, I honestly, you know, I haven't seen any success hardly at all out of this Western system. It's, it's good to have a place to go if you break an arm, break a leg, or if you have an emergency. Absolutely. That's really, really good. And there are doctors out there who truly, truly care about people. Unfortunately, the, the levels above and the layers above they're just looking at their bottom line. They're looking at the income. They're looking at a bigger picture. So they're guiding those that are below um, in a false direction. And you're just depending on that person to really know their stuff if you go in and, and you know, risk, risk your health with them. Even if we take aside the reality that w which we do know what's going on, and I know most of you guys know what's going on. All the regulars know what's going on. But just let's not look at it from a CON as piracy uh, point of view. Let's just look at it as performance wise. They suck. They're horrible. They, I mean, they're pathetic. So all these alphabet soups need to go because they obviously don't have a clue. And that's if we're giving them the benefit of the doubt, which we know is not really the case. But anyway, you do have the first trials for the, uh, let's just call it the ANRM, anti-cancer ouchies. They're set to begin. You remember? Yeah, I am legend. Cure for cancer, cure for cancer. And then what happened? A zombie apocalypse. Signs are everywhere. There's also signs that something big is brewing in the Pacific Northwest. Um, Wyoming Department of Transportation has closed Wyoming 22 Teton Pass Wednesday due to road damage. The crack across the lanes dropped vertically eight inches in some place. There's some serious ground movement going on over there. We were talking about uh, the swarm of quakes that was going on right inside the caldera of Mount St. Helens and then unusual smoke uh, coming off into the air in uh, not exactly where Shasta is, um, but in the northern part of California. Now, those could be wildfires, but it, could there be possibly some volcanic activity going? As we see more and more white bison calves being born. It used to be rare. It won't be rare anymore. It'll become the norm. It might actually become uh, the majority. Well, you know, I did a, a channeling a little while ago of White Buffalo Calf Woman, and she did come through and say on the channeling that as we get closer to the the other ages, Silver Age, Gold Age, this will be happening more and more, and the purity of the animals are going to change. The mannerisms of the animals is going to change because we're all going to change. We are all going to change. It's still going to be a very natural process. It, it's, I don't see anything really wild and crazy happening as far as changes. In an instant, I see a, a steady progression of change in m many different ways and things that uh, are going to have our scientists who've been gathering data for all these years, they're going to have to take a step back and say, oh, okay, this isn't, um, this isn't what we thought it was. So we'll just keep watching that and keep seeing the little, little white ones be born. Oh, wow. Massive anomaly. Oh yes. Yes. This was another thing that was brought to our attention today too. Um, from Dabu and family members, <clears throat> you guys, thank you for sending me this, uh, really big, big anomaly. And we're looking at something that cannot be explained again, again. And, and this is going to continue to happen too. Um, with us being in a, a new age, currently in the Bronze Age, part of what's happening 
is the technology is not going to be able to hold its form. There's there's going to be many reasons for this. This is probably going to somebody's probably going to come out and have a, a logical explanation for it. But you know what? They're going to need more and more logical explanations because things like this are going to keep popping up out of nowhere where they cannot be hidden or they're going to be explained off, written off, something like that. Um, but we are able to see more than ever ever before and we are changing our perceptions are changing um, our bodies are changing everything is changing there is a split coming on and this is why we really really encourage people to remain as organic as possible depending on which which direction you want to go some people they just want to stay with the mainstream and they haven't a clue that anything like this is happening that the technologies of, of covering things up are failing they just stay in the nine nine to five and maybe they are happy that's not for me to judge but i'm one i want to go in a certain direction i prefer to go the organic route and when you do that, you run into this stuff more often. Um, I'm just waiting to see what what excuses are going to come out of the woodwork as far as what happened here. So there's a link to Dabu's video. And it, it basically is what the picture is depicting. It, it's some sort of object. Uh, you know, Into Thin Air has done such a good job tracking the anomalies. Um, that we've seen over in the South Atlantic. This is some sort of object that, you know, as Dabu is putting out there, he's saying, is this some sort of mothership? If it's a mothership, it is enormous because you see the size of it relative to India, and it does move. And I think, you know, again, we have at most a few years, certainly by 2030, um, you'll see uh, ETs. You, you will have seen ETs if, if we make it to 2030. Because again, uh, when you look to what a lot of people have remote viewed, there's a lot less people um, come 2028, 2030-ish. So again, this is why we've been trying to get everybody to understand when you see the chaos breaking out like it is, uh, it, it certainly is... Well, there's no perfect place. Uh, certainly, you don't want to be in the middle of Times Square if you could avoid it. Or, you know, in the middle of D.C. or, or what have you um, when things really, really kick off. But can you imagine a mothership that we are talking uh, hundreds, if not almost like a thousand miles long? Yeah, you know, there are ships out there like that. There really are. And, and there is a good chance that in the future, uh, come say, you know, 2028, 2030-ish, I think by that point in time, uh, there will be no doubts because you probably have witnessed for yourself. Mm -hmm. there's, there's a lot that's going to show itself, guys. And again, so many people already have. When we talk about abduction and the abduction experience, there's a, I've seen estimates where they say at least 10% of the population has had a missing time abduction experience uh i i venture to guess it's at least that if not higher there's there's a lot of that going on more than more than most know way more than most know so yes we will see the end of many dogmas really in in just a few years uh d-day celebrations and here as you can see uh general aldolf uh Husinger, was Adolf Hitler's chief of the general staff of the army during World War II, and he became NATO's chief of staff. I mean, what, what more do you need to see? Again, the system is one. The system is unified. All the uh, all when you see this dissension going on, that's just an act. That's just a play. It's WWE theatrics at their best. Well, they're doing everything they can to keep us, we, the people, the masses, separated. Yeah, you got to be careful out there. Be it could be, could be there. dangerous out there. It might even be dangerous inside. I know. It might be. You see, this little guy's just trying to do his best to... <laughs> To maintain the peace and a little karmic retribution. Yes, yes. He's like, no, I just want to sit here and be quiet and be in peace and purr and be nice. Oops. <laughs> there we go.
maintain uh, your grounding, your rootedness, maintain your center. Uh, don't allow yourself to be pulled into the hate. Um, it's very easy to obviously feel the need to grab a barf bag when you look at any of the politicians out there in this point in time because it's all being so blatantly revealed for what it is and it is as dark as the darkest cons piracy theories have been speaking about for all this time but at the same time we are heading into a totally totally different era a uh, totally different age as you know again the those of a certain dogmatic persuasion are terrified of those two words you know heading into a new age uh, that that just is you know again and uh, in, in the minds of those um, that are fundamentalist it's it's like uh, satanic but the reality is no the old age is satanic and we're waking up to the fact that it's a satanic system it's a demonic system completely every aspect of it it's all been a lie it's all been an illusion it's all been there just simply to keep us divided and conquered indeed source bless and namaste namaste